Welcome back. It is Monday, so that means we have our Mom Monday segment for you. Jen Bear is here in studio with us, and you have brought some delicious looking and smelling treats, might I add, as part of National Pretzel Month. That's right. So October is National Pretzel Month, and it's also Croctober. Love it. Croctober. Is, yeah. yeah. is, is, that, is that a term that you coined, Jen? I wish. No, Crock-Pot Slow Cooker, the brand, actually coined the term Crocktober. Okay, we get the Everybody rights to it. on that. Yes. Okay. That's right. I yes, love they it. have full ownership of that, but we can all celebrate it, right? Absolutely. So I thought I would share some yummy dips that are very easy to make in the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. with, now, what uh, is pretzels. this one? This one looks very interesting. It smells really good. What is it? It is. So this is a honey mustard raspberry dip. Oh. Interesting combo there. Yes. yes. Mustard How did you raspberry. think to combine those two things? You know, I just, I love mustard and I love spicy mustard, but sometimes you need a little bit of sweetness yeah. in there, especially if you're going to dip your pretzels in. In there so it's really easy it's just equal parts of the honey the spicy mustard and the raspberry preserves mm. and then I like to put a couple tablespoons of the stone ground mustard as well because it adds a little nice texture to it yes a little bit of crunch especially with pretzels yes absolutely so you can do that with a soft pretzel or even just the crunchy pretzels love well. no double dipping that's no, that's no double rule. dipping that is caveat. one of my rules okay. yes not. For sure. okay, okay so here's the cheese this is now we're speaking yes. my language over here Nick I think this might be two of your favorite things beer and cheese <laughs> right? hey, maybe you can't I mean that. who doesn't like that right? any guy right so it's yes this is a, a cheese dip a beer cheese dip so it's got one um, can or one bottle of beer mm -hmm. and I use a sharp cheddar and then also a Gruyere cheese and it's got some shallots in there and everything but the great thing is you can put all the ingredients in the slow cooker cook it for about two hours mm -hmm. and you've got your your beer cheese dip. so easy I yes. love it and it smells amazing and again soft or hard pretzels that's right good option. and I like the yes. little nubs too because yeah. they're kind of like the bite size they're really easy yes. yes one one dip one and, and then done. you're good the to go. The problem is just can't eat the whole bowl, right? Yeah. That's, That's what I would right. do. I would just keep walking by. I'll take one. I'll yeah. take one. That's the challenge the for gone. sure. And we can't forget dessert. So we've got a great caramel, cinnamon caramel dip. Again, this one's very easy. We've got a little bit of brown sugar, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of cinnamon, and some heavy cream. Mm -hmm. This one, you you know, you want to watch out for because it, <laughs> it's definitely not healthy, but um, it's very tasty and a good one to serve. You know, if you've got a little buffet and you wanted a dessert up there. Yeah, it smells really good. Now, I have a, a random question. I was just yes. telling you, I was using my crock pot at home yes, over the I'm weekend. So happy to hear that. Yeah, I knew you'd be so proud. When you're dealing with dips and things like that, is it super important that you kind of watch it and stir it as you go so you don't burn anything in the crock pot? Yeah, definitely. So you want to get either um, these warmers, the slow cooker warmers mm -hmm. like these, so that way it doesn't keep it on too high. Yes. Um, but you definitely want to give it a good stir every now and then just to make sure you're not getting any clumping right. or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. I yes. hate it when the dips <laughs> get a skin. That's the worst. Yeah, yes. you don't want that. Okay, where can people find these recipes? All of these recipes are on getcrock.com. All right, love it. Thanks for being here, Jen. Thank you.